Welcome to another episode of Furslum Forge. Today we're going to be doing uh, something a little bit different. So one of my favorite movies is Jeremiah Johnson and uh, today we're going to start making a Jeremiah Johnson movie knife. So it's not the knife that Jeremiah Johnson, the original one, probably used, uh, but it's the one that was in the movie from the 70s. So I've seen a couple of shots of this in the movie uh, and I like the, the look of the knife and I like the look of the um, the sheath that comes with it as well. Uh, so from those couple of scenes that we see of that movie knife there, we're going to uh, try and recreate it. Another thing we're going to do today is rather than use a uh, fresh piece of steel, I picked up some old uh, rasps, I think they're for farrier rasps. Um, so we're going to see what we can do to convert this farrier rasp into a bowie knife. It's probably going to be about a 9 to 10 inch uh, blade itself. And then the handle uh, will be a through tang with um, scales on, on either side of it. So that's what we'll uh, start with. So obviously some of the gotchas are going to be how do we deal with the actual um, rasp shape itself. But from what I've seen of other people making it, it just ends up with a, a fairly nice shape. We might be able to grind it off. Uh, but we'll get this in the forge and uh, we'll get this uh, blood making exercise going. So the first thing we're going to do is start taking the clip down to the front. So we just bash this down, keep it straight. So we'll just keep doing that. Make it pretty aggressive because when we start bringing the other side out, it actually lifts that clip up a little bit. So we'll make that a bit more of a point and really drop it down. to get the basic shape obviously this front bit I'll take care of and we'll file that off but I've got about the right width now that I was looking for so I'm just gonna spend some time now straightening it out and that will probably in and of itself just uh, level things out a little bit rough shape in here. Now I just do lots of little little hammer strikes and brush it off and we just kind of get it as flat as we can. Alright so we did the, the rough angle grind work um, and as you can see I got a pretty good shape on this now so we definitely get that buoy clip front end. Um, I got about in the end about half an inch longer than I wanted but that's okay because I can always take it from the back here. The handle's pretty good, um, fits my hand really well and there'll be a guard there as well so there might be a little bit more of uh, trim in here just to give us a bit more space for that guard and then I got a nice uh, butt end on the on the um, back of the handle. I think my challenge is going to be I'll have to get a pretty solid piece of wood scales that goes all the way through there to make that in place but overall it ended up not being too thin. Um, I just have to be a little bit careful when I'm uh, grinding and quenching, and then we'll see how much of this scale can come off. But it might end up where, you know, kind of the the top part of the blade has got almost like a scaled finish to it, just showing that it was made out of an old rasp. But overall, pretty good, nice chopper. Um, as I said, I'm trying to make it look like that Jeremiah Johnson blade. We're pretty close. Uh, and the next phase will be a bit more grinding, a bit more sanding with the belt sander, and then we'll do the quench. Alright, so as you saw, we quenched the, uh, the overall blade. 
Uh, I like the, the shape that I got here, so you know it's gonna have a, a guard right there, like this, and then we've got a handle. Um, concerns are gonna be making sure I get a scale that fits on the back of this handle. Um, so overall the shape's great, but a couple of errors that I made on this one were basically I, I tried to get rid of the 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 rasp um, feel on top of it, so I ended up making a super thin blade. And because I made it so thin, I just couldn't get the quench to not have a warp in it. So this blade's got um, some pretty, you can't see it here, but it's got some it has got some nasty warps in it that I tried to correct. Quenched it twice um, to try and correct it, but I just feel like I've either got, well, it's two things. The blade was definitely too thin, and then um, I just don't know the quality of the, of the rafts that we use. So we're gonna start again. Um, take the lessons we learned from this though because there were some good lessons as far as getting the shape right but I will get a fresh piece of steel and we'll um, forge a brand new blade that fits in that really nice shape from the uh, Jeremiah Johnson movie. Alright so we uh, completed that second blade, remember I'm using this as my example but this was the, the one that we failed uh, just due to warps and the, and the thinness of it. But the other blades are tempering right now. But so we've done the the blade, we've done the quenching, um, so it turned out really good. Now we're going through the process of um, tempering in the oven, like I mentioned. So the next phase for us is to start working on the back end once it's completed that tempering process. So um, the the interesting gotchas about this particular handle is if you look at this, we have a a guard that goes across here, right, and that's a guard that slips on over the knife. Previous knives I've made where I've had a guard, I just kind of slide on and it fits great, right? Because it's either a hidden tang or it's got a different shape. The key for me here is making sure that this width right here, if you can see that, that width has to be smaller than the final width where the guard slips on. So we'll do some work on the back end so that we can get a nice guard that just slides all the way on there. Then we'll get the two scales on either side, drill, I'll probably use three um, Brass pins, just because it's such a, 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 a pretty big knife there. Um, and then once that's done, we'll start tidying up the overall um, shape of this, and then we'll have our finished blade. Then from there, we'll start looking at the uh, leather sheath that we'll work on. So we've got the completed blade, uh, as you saw. The next phase is the leather sheath. Uh, this is a pretty big knife, so it's a pretty big leather sheath. Um, but some of the interesting bits about this are, rather than having 
the way it attaches to a belt being um, either you know two slots that are cut in the the, 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 the leather part of the sheath where the knife it, the knife handle is or the other pieces you actually generate and, and, and add a whole separate um, leather kind of band on the back of it to put on your belt. If you look at the movie you'll see that they've just put one kind of slot in the side of the uh, knife sheath and then your belt goes through that slot and then goes over the knife. So these, let's use this classic example here right so it's almost the belt kind of goes through a hole here and then holds the thing in. Um, so we'll make that. So if you see on the uh, on the screen there you'll see as you watch it you'll see that we have to cut the shape of the knife sheath all right we use two pieces of uh, leather to, to to give us the coverage that we need um, then we'll obviously punch the holes and get that all lined up um, i'll do a combination of stitching with sinew um, type material it's like it's like artificial sinew and then we're also going to put in some brass um, pins um, just because it's such a big blade and then we'll have the way that the uh, knife can be kept in the holster in the in the sheath we'll just put a um, single wrap around that goes over the top of the guard that will hold it in place um, then we'll get it all stitched up we'll do a cross stitch just so it looks a little bit a uh, little bit fancy uh, and then that should complete the blade Okay, I uh, really hope you enjoyed this video. We really enjoyed making it. Uh, I think this is probably the biggest knife that I've made, so that was uh, that was fun of itself. Also, doing the test, we're always trying to figure out what would be a, a new test that we can do, and uh, slicing up some meat ready for the barbecue was uh, was was an awesome test of this blade too. Um, so, I made this blade for uh, a friend of mine. Um, at, uh, at my local uh, Jiu Jitsu class, so uh, I gave it to him already uh, as a kind of a combination of uh, various things that he's done for us. So uh, he really enjoyed it. Uh, all the folks in there also loved seeing a, a big nine inch Bowie knife as well. Uh, so I hope you like this video. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And then, as always, we'll be thinking of uh, what ideas we can we can put together next for whether it's a knife or a tomahawk or an axe or, or whatever it is. Um, we really appreciate everybody uh, watching these videos. Thanks.